Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of season 2 here in the Road to Glory with Wimbledon, the youth Road to Glory of course, where we were able to actually pick up a number of free agent regen signings in the last episode that look very, very promising. De Jong has come in, don't be fooled by the name, he's actually Canadian, Samuel De Jong looks very, very good, 70 rated, has come in as my second highest rated player. Uh, Marine Ruiz, a Spaniard, Esteve Marine Ruiz has come in, a six foot two centre back with a five star weak foot, and I'm slotted straight into the starting lineup. Sensi, a six foot five Italian, comes in with a low high work rate and will uh, slot straight in at centre back as well. We uh, have also brought up Young, he can play at right back, but I'm probably going to utilise him more at centre back. And uh, we've also brought up another youngster. From our, well, actually, we got a Scout Future star in the last episode, which is Lugano, a centre mid with the potential to get to the late 80s slash early 90s. And uh, he has four star skill moves, so really keen to see how he progresses throughout the course of the save. Of course, both our Scout Future stars now have been centre mids, both Lugano and Ruben Hara. Waiting on Scout reports from my uh, Scouts that are currently out and about, so to speak. And uh, we should get our first batch of those in today's episode as we push through the month of August. Very keen to see how things progress. We are looking to sign another youth scout as well. Waiting to uh, see if we can get a little bit more money in with regards to player sales. And then we could perhaps go for someone that, for example, is four-star, four-star like Bradley Moore here. Uh, we... Oh, do I do that now? I'm going to wait and see what the price is for a 5-star, 4-star, or a 4-star, 5-star, or a 5-star, five 5-star, five and see if we can afford the very best, if possible, because we currently have a 5-star experienced 4-star judgment guy heading out towards Germany to look for an attacker. We have someone headed to Portugal to look for technically gifted players. It is wingers and strikers that now I, uh, I'm in most need of, perhaps... Uh, a solid left back. We've got so many players that are in the 50s that I'm starting to get slightly frustrated that we haven't yet been able to get any, you know, properly decent wingers. Yeah, we have Bell and Walker, but they're not really like the sort of level as Beherano or, well, basically not really at the sort of level as the Scout Future Stars or the free agents we've been able to sign. I'd like someone of free agent level, so to speak. So we'll have to wait and see how things progress throughout this episode. We'll be playing two games today and simulating the rest. I think there's only four games in the month. And here come those first sc monthly scouting reports. So we'll have a look at them now. Ericsson is back with the technically gifted. Uh, we have 53 to 73. Going to instantly be rejecting him, unfortunately. 61 to 81 intrigues me slightly. So we'll wait and see what happens with him. 72 to 94 for Adriano Guerra has me intrigued as well. Uh, value of 650,000, which means that his uh, current rating is going to be slightly higher. Uh, 50k for Marcos Andrade, so I presume he's going to be on the lower end of that scale. But this guy actually has me quite intrigued. So we'll give him another month and see if we can get slightly more uh, detailed look at him. And uh, there's some potential there for sure. And Ewan McDonald, we have Hans Snyder, looking at attackers in Germany, of course. Uh, 59 to 83. Wait and see what happens with him. I want to know what... Oh, 68 to 94. Although his current, current overall is 32 to 44. Ask for attackers as well. And he's either a centre mid, a right mid, or a centre back. So unfortunately, we haven't quite gotten someone in the right position there. I'm going to reject this guy. Uh, I'll give it another month for him. He's six foot. I'll give it another month for him as well. Uh, Marcus Lang, 63 to 85... Being under 50 rated at 17, I'm going to say no. 54 to 74, I'm going to say no. 52 to 72, I'm going to say no. 62 to 84, potentially. If he's like 53, 54 rated at 15, then there is some potential there. And he's 6 foot 1. We'll wait and see what happens with those three. But I'm most keen on the, uh, the Portuguese guy, actually. So we'll wait and see what happens with uh, those guys in next month's uh, scout reports. A loan off of Will Bell, interestingly which I will reject because he's going to be my starting lineup. Uh, Sanev has been sold, though. He's gone to Dragada in Ireland, so we've sold a goalkeeper. We have a little bit more money available to us now. 
Now, I am perhaps going to have to start rethinking where I'm training. I am going to continue to train Morrison, the goalkeeper, until he's of backup standard level. But with my scout future star being Logano coming in now, I might start training him over Murray. In fact, I am going to start training him over Murray now, I've decided. I don't want to necessarily train him too much to stunt his growth. But probably will start to train him a little bit. We'll start with this game against Warsaw. I'll play the Warsaw game because it's away from home. We will simulate the game in the cup against Grimsby. We'll play the game against Northampton in the league as that's away from home. And then simulate the game against Oldham. Who, of course, we beat in pre-season by three goals to nil. So I'm confident if I sim that, I'll actually win it. And then that will take us out of the month of August. So drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. This will be the very first time that I've used De Jong, Marin Ruiz and Sensi. So hopefully they can have good performances. Lugano is on the bench as well. So fingers crossed he can have an influential part to play in today's episode. Unfortunately, Beherano is still out for a few more weeks, but he'll be onto the bench as soon as he is fit. And we're looking to sell Oshilaja on now. And then that would leave just strikers left as the original players from the squad. We're very, very close now to a full regen team. But we'll jump into the game against Warsaw and try my absolute best to start the league with three points. Edwards. Lovely ball through the gap to Morris. Morris in the box. Good block by Marin Ruiz to stop them from taking the lead early on. Two centre backs, very, very tall now. You can see just the sheer size of Sensi at six foot five. Our goalkeeper's like six foot five or six foot six as well. And if we uh, bring in the potential of that six foot six, maybe Samueletto regen in January too, we might end up with an absolutely giant team. Lyle well, Taylor's done well there to work the space. Oh, but he can't find the bottom corner. You've got to bury that, Lyle. You've got to bury that. Farah with him. Dobson. Dobson again. Through the gap. Jackson. Ricardo Vaz. Off the post. It's the closest either side of come to a goal so far. Really nice effort from Ricardo Vaz, but luckily the woodwork came to my rescue. Bennett might be my highest rated player, but I really don't yet think that he's actually that good in goal. Feels like a lot beats him. I'd like to see him improve drastically this season if we can. Bell into Hara. Towards Taylor around the corner to Quezzi. Could go back to Lyle Taylor. I see the run of Mike's new signing. But Quezzi, oh, can't hit the target either. Oh, dearie me. What I wouldn't give to have a striker that can actually hit the target most of the time. I tell you, my... Youth player when he finally arrives better be deadly. Here's Oz Tuma. Across to Ricardo Vaz. Strike from Oz Tuma. My strikers might not be able to hit the target, but that is a hell of a finish from the Walsall man. He has buried that right in the top bins. Lays it out wide, gets the 1 2, and first time pings it. Bennett might be 6 foot 6, but I do worry about his. His positioning and his reactions. Um, because you can't. He's 74 rated now. And his actual goalkeeping stats are decent. But physically, he's still terrible. So his agility is only 41. His jumping is only 39. And I genuinely think it's having a, a really negative effect on his ability to be a decent goalkeeper. Reactions are only 48 as well. It's a, it's a weird one because on paper, on this side of things, on the technical side of things, he looks like he's going to be brilliant, especially considering he's six foot six. But he's really not been that good. He's really not been that good. George Long, even though he was only like 67, 68 rated, was much, much better. I might have to hope that I can get a regen, like a free agent regen keeper that has better physical stats because physically. Bennett is really letting himself down here and letting me down in the process. Cooper into Bell. Equalizer before half time would be great. Taylor looking for Quezzi. Going to drive into the box. Quezzi Appia. There we go. Equalizer before the break would be great and is. Well, it wasn't really great, was it? But it's still in. <laughs> and the way that Lyle Taylor and Quezzi Appia have been finishing so far today. I'm just glad that it was on target, let alone actually found its way into the back of the net. We're level before the break. 
hopefully we can push on in the second half and actually get ourselves in front. Corner for Walsall. Whipped. So here's the box to Dobson. Tries to get a foot in. Oh, wow. How has that been able to accurately find their man in the middle there? It was such a really good effort. The near post. And that should be held by Bennett and Ears. Jeeps. Lead down the line to Oz Tuma. Cooper coming out to him. Keeper should have that and does. Hold it out to Dave Walker. Try forward with it. Inside to Lyle Taylor. Back there to De Jong. To Lyle again. Because he's made the run. Quezzy's in. Quezzy. 2 1 Walsall. Wimbledon. <laughs> 2 1 Wimbledon, not 2 1 Walsall. We're in front. 64th minute. Very simple through ball right down the middle of the pitch. Just to open the angle slightly to get away from the defender so that I can actually have a bit more room to actually have the effort. Otherwise, he might well have scuffed it with the defender in such close proximity to him. It gets away and then is able to find the back of the net. Yes, Quezzy. 2 1 Wimbledon. Lost too much. Nice ball through. Oh, I couldn't get there with the defender. Gore, Bennett, what a save. Sometimes, if his positioning is right, then he doesn't need his agility and, uh, and jumping. He can just throw an arm up with reactions. Then that is absolutely brilliant. On to the post from the goalkeeper from the close-range effort. Win that header, please. Oh, diving away, Bennett. Nothing affecting his diving this time. That's what baffles me. I mean, I might, I might be wrong in my assumption that I made earlier when explaining why I think Bennett isn't as good as a 74-rated goalkeeper should be. I might genuinely be wrong, and they might not actually have any standing on his goalkeeping ability, those physical stats. But that's just the way it feels, at least. Because occasionally, he comes up with top saves, like he just has done there, two in a row. And then for the goal that they scored, he went to jump and dive, and basically just put his arms in the air and didn't actually move anywhere with his feet, which is what baffles me. Never mind. Maybe he's just going to be a hit or miss kind of goalkeeper. Simeon Jackson gets the turn in there. I want to stop him from shooting. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bell. Bell misses out on the ball. Try and win it back off Lee. Haven't been able to do it. And that ball is very, very accurate. And Osuma shoots wide. One thing I have noticed with Sensi, at least, of the two new centre-back signings, he can be a little bit cumbersome at times. He's not necessarily the quickest to turn. He... Reminds me slightly of Per Mertesacker, although thankfully he's not as slow. But I might have to, or it might take me a little while to uh, be able to get used to playing with him and knowing when to time a tackle and when to turn and when to sprint and when not to sprint, etc. Oz Tuma comes close again with a header that hits the side netting. So it's going to be a learning curve with the new players, but hopefully the new players will still be good enough to uh, give us a significant improvement in our overall league form. I definitely don't think we'll be finishing 19th again this year. A win on the opening day against Warsaw. Let's push forward now to that cup game against Grimsby. Right then, Grimsby at home. We shall simulate this and hopefully come away with a victory in the Carabao Cup. I'm not too fussed about the Carabao Cup. The FA Cup, obviously, I need to get to the round of 32 to match the ball's expectations, but... There isn't much money to be earned from domestic cup runs in FIFA. In FM, a cup run would be very, very good financially for the club. But unfortunately, finances don't work that way on uh, on FIFA. But unfortunately, we actually find ourselves 1-0 down. But Dimitrov pulls us back after 49 minutes. Just behind for 10 minutes. Can we go in front or we, are we going to go to extra time? Walk went off for Murray. Uh, extra time it is by the looks of things. Into it we go. Lugano on for Hara. Are we going to get a winner or is it going to be... Oh, Dimitrov! The left back pops up with another one with five minutes to go. We are through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. Thank you, Dimitrov. Of all the people I want to score goals, I didn't expect it to be my left back that pops up with a brace. Barcelona have sold Andres Iniesta to Manchester City. Wow. That's a transfer I don't think you ever feel you'd see coming. Gordon McCall has gone out on loan to Grimsby. So we just played, unfortunately for them, not in time to play in that previous game. Big deal so far in the window. Thiago Alcantara has gone to Manchester City as well for £91.6 million. Royce has gone to Real Madrid for 526 million. And Gundogan has gone to Bayern. So they've replaced Gundogan with Thiago and Iniesta. Absolutely massive. Right, Northampton away up for us next. Let's see if we can't get back-to-back -back wins in the league. Dimitrov 
into De Jong. Back here, back to De Jong. Lyle Taylor's there. Quincy's gone. Here's De Jong. De Jong! Oh, I thought it was in. I really thought that was in. Very, very nearly 1-0 Wimbledon after just three minutes. De Jong just inches away. Oh, what a save! The keeper stopped it. Wow, so close to his opening goal in a Wimbledon shirt. I genuinely thought he'd shot wide. It was on target. That was a ridiculous stop by their goalkeeper. De Jong, through there to Quezzi. Man with me. Comes away with the ball, actually, and then follows it forward into Van Veen. O'Toole, Van Veen, across to Kazim, to Powell. Oh, this is great football, and desperately unlucky. Oh, they have scored. Of course, of all the defenders to be in a single 50-50 battle for an aerial header, as opposed to a non-aerial header, Oh, it's Dimitrov. I've got a six foot five centre back, a six foot two centre back, and a right back that's really tall and physically strong. And it's tiny little Dimitrov that ends up. Oh no, it was actually right the winger that was underneath it. No wonder he didn't win the header. One nil Northampton. Phillips nicely through the gap. They're looking for John Joe O'Toole, who's turned well, draws it across. Oh, and Cooper's missed it. Powell two nil Northampton. Coops, come on, mate. You've got to do better than that. You've got to do better than that. <sighs> Not really much I can do there, is there? 2-0. Two goals in five minutes for Northampton. They look dominant here. Cooper into Stoyanov. Go forward to Lyle Taylor. Wow, he got nailed after the ball had gone there. Lyle Taylor into Quezzi, who spins well. Quezzi Appia. Good save by O'Donnell. I tried to get it across goal towards the left-hand side, but it wouldn't work. Deserved yellow card for Chonjo O'Toole. Stoyanov didn't know what was coming. Then, right with the delivery, and up goes nobody. Here's Sensi. I should probably look for him, shouldn't I? Sensi. How's his crossing? Actually, not bad. Lyle Taylor tries to get on the end of it and can't. Wesley brings it down. Ah, oh, but Kazim out muscles. Yep, yeah, no. Unfortunately, Dion wasn't able to do anything there, but he could win it back here. No, he can't. Crooks. That's a Van Veen. He's the one, two. And been oh what a through ball, three nil. Northampton are just too good for me here. That was a, another really well worked goal. That through ball just takes two defenders completely out of the game. It's a brilliant goal. Taylor loft that out wide to right. Is it down well? Quezzi's making the run, and there was a defender deeper that was playing him on. Quezzi. Well, at least it's not a whitewash. We've gotten ourselves one back. 3-1. Dimitrov into Quezzi. Through the gap to Lyle Taylor. Quezzi's gone again. I'll put it then for him to run on to. Quezzi. This is painful. Absolutely painful because for 85 minutes, I couldn't do a thing against their back line. And then I've just gone and scored two goals in the final five minutes. And I'm... Really annoyed that I'm not actually going to get anything from the game. It's been a hell of a game against Northampton. I've been in it throughout. I just couldn't score. And then I finally do start scoring. But it's too little too late, unfortunately. At least it will uh, save our goal difference a little bit. I had 11 shots, 6 on target. Although, to be fair, Walsall had more chances than me in the first game. So, maybe it's, you know, swings and roundabouts, I suppose. But a decent start to the season. We'll go and simulate the game against Oldham. And then see what else happens in the window. Transfer offer in for Oshilaja. £990,000 from Birmingham, which I will accept. And that will drastically improve the state of our transfer budget and drastically improve the quality of the third and final scout that we will bring in. Now, wait and see if we can raise any more money before the end of the window before committing, which we may well do through the sale of John Meads to Scunthorpe, the left back. Right, I definitely am going to be able to afford quite a decent uh, scout here. Maybe a five-star, five-star. A loan offer for Ewan Wright. I'm actually going to turn that down because he's one of my go-to backup wingers right now, Ewan Wright. So I'm going to turn that down and keep him at the club. We have... Uh, ah, there you go. Arshalaja has been sold. 650 grand has been added to my transfer budget. I actually had the, another round of the cup drawn, I think, actually in the month, and we have done. So we'll simulate that too. In fact, we've got Oldham 
in the Checker Cho Trophy as well. We just can't get away from Oldham Athletic, can we? Right, let's go and simulate this game against Oldham. Everybody should be in the right position. And let me just take you out for McLean. Beharan is still injured. Do that. And then that. Any sign of... No, Campbell's still injured as well. Okay. Right. Let's go and simulate the game against Oldham. See, we beat them 3-0 in pre-season. Can we replicate that result and get ourselves another positive victory in uh, League One? We've got a win and a defeat so far. Both games played by me. This is the first league game we've simulated this year. We sat mid-table. Got an injury immediately. But then Hara gives us a 1-0 lead. Slightly concerned about the amount of injuries that we've been picking up in simulated games. But not really too much I can do about that. Davies equalises. Then Dimitrov is apparently the best goal-scoring left-back that the world has ever seen this season. He's the most informed player we've got. Other than Kwesi Appiah, actually. who's actually been in decent goal-scoring form, to be fair. And it's a 2-1 win against Oldham. Slightly closer than the pre-season game. But we are able to get all three points, which is absolutely brilliant. Bejarano is back from injury just in time. Because... Esteve Marin Ruiz has broken his ankle and is out for seven weeks. Amazing. Superb. Just what I wanted to hear. Oh well. We'll go and uh, rotate the side and then simulate the game against Barnsley as well. John Meads is now sold. So that's two other in real life players that have now left us. And Millwall are interested in Bejarano. But that's the most certain no. He's going nowhere. Now, Marine Ruiz is still here in the starting line. Now, is Bejarano on his way back? He's on his way back, but not yet fit. So, McLean is actually going to get a start. I'll put Bejarano on the bench, and he should be all right to play. He should be all right to play. Right, let's crack on then. Let's go and play, or sim, this game against Barnsley in the Cup. See if we can't get ourselves through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. I'm not too fussed about... Uh, Cup competitions. The most important thing for us is just getting promotion at this stage. Obviously, last year was kind of a, a transitional year, taking the or moving from in real life players to uh, regen players. This year, promotion would be great, but it's more about developing all of the regen players that we've brought into the club. And if we are able to get promotion this year, superb. If not, then next year, I'm certain that we will get promotion through automatic, uh, through an automatic finish. But I'm. I'm pretty confident that we'll get playoffs this year, uh, as a minimum. I'm going to go to extra time in the Carabao Cup here. Bradshaw then puts Barnsley 2-1 up. It's annoying that we've had to go to extra time. No, it's 2-2, because Dimitrov scored a penalty. And we've won on pens by five goals to four. The Carabao Cup run continues. Apparently, we're not too bad in cup competition this year. Let's uh, end the transfer window, though. And we've got a game against Brentford on the horizon in the league. They, of course, got relegated last year from the championship. We're currently seventh in the league table, though, after three games. If we could be one position higher after 46 games, that would be brilliant. Right. Uh, you probably can't see because I'm in the way, but the top three deals remain the same top three deals that there were uh, there before. Now, are we going to get any more transfer offers in? We've had a loan offer for Will Bell, but obviously he, again, is my starting right-sided midfielder, so he's going nowhere. I would consider selling a couple of the other youngsters that obviously aren't going to work uh, to grow that much. Julian Weigl's just gone to Paris Saint-Germain for £31.6 million. Pounds. Another transfer offer or another email. Transfer offer for Cody McDonald. Thank you. Except you can go to Scunthorpe. Right, that's good news. Now, if we can get an offering for Joe Piggott as well, that would be wonderful, if you don't mind. Dear anyone else in the world ever, I'd like you to buy Joe Piggott. Three hours left. Still no news about Cody McDonald being finalised. There you go. Cody McDonald sold. £200,000 added to my transfer budget. Thank you very much. Not that we'll be buying anyone, but... Uh, I will use the money on a scout. Oh, five emails and four emails. Uh, oh, I've won manager of the month. Hey, what about that? That's the first time we've done that. Thank you very much, EFA or EFL League One FA. Uh, international R. Ah, so, De Jong is also an international player for Canada. So, we will be missing him at certain times throughout the, uh, throughout the season. Niklas Schwartz. 
now 50 rated. To be fair, uh, no, yeah, no, it was shot power that's 65. I thought for a minute it was short pass at 65. It's not, it's shot power. All right, never mind. Yeah, no, I can understand why it's 50 rated, but let's see how much money we've got now in our transfer budget. We have 4.1 million pounds, which is definitely going to be enough to sign us the best possible scout. Please be a five star, five star. There's a four star, four star. Considering we have 4.1 million, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait until a five star, five star or a five star, four star comes up. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Right, drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more of this season or, of course, any of the Southampton series as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.